Annie Duncan. I'm a painter and ceramic sculptor. I grew up here in San Francisco and I make large scale still lifes, both in the form of ceramic sculpture and acrylic painting. Usually I will start by actually making assemblage of found objects and working from life. And from there I'll make sketches and make models and build the composition from that. I made this piece of a claw clip. I often work with beauty products and accessories and think a lot about this idea of the gendered object. I made this piece almost thinking about bringing this form to life, thinking about uh, the Louise Bourgeois spiders and that form and how those kind of speak to the feminine. So my work is inspired by everything from 18th century Dutch still life painting, the Veritas paintings, to the I Spy children's book. But I think a lot about the power of objects as symbols and as storytelling devices. So in traditional still life painting, objects such as flowers or shells were really used in reference to the feminine and the female body. And so I'm interested in revisiting those symbols as well as pairing them with more contemporary references. Objects like a plastic razor or an IUD, beauty accessories and products. called Origin Story. It's playing with the ideas of traditional still life painting, still life tropes used in the Veritas paintings. So I'm playing with a couple different symbols, referencing the shell and this timepiece here, and the lemon. And traditionally objects, you know, like shells were really used in reference to the female body and this idea of fertility and kind of wanted to bring in contemporary symbols too. So I brought in this IUD here, which I also chose to make in this enlarged ceramic sculpture form. And to me, scaling up the IUD was also about kind of scaling up maybe our cultural conversation around that object. So a lot of my work is thinking about this idea with the humor and joy embedded in a lot of these objects that we don't think about. You know, an IUD is normally something that's really tiny and it's kind of hidden in the body. Putting it in this painting and pairing it with these more traditional symbols, I wanted to start a conversation between these objects and between past and present. So this piece is an eight foot tall painting called The Sparkle in Your Eyes. It's an acrylic painting and I began this piece like I start all my pieces. So I create an assemblage of found objects and I really want to play with this trope of the flowers in still life paintings. This idea of like beauty and abundance and so here I painted these flowers that are kind of wilted and, and starting to die. 
I usually start each painting by doing a big sketch and from there I'll build up some texture on the canvas and then I'll work directly from life. In this piece I kind of started from the bottom and worked my way up to the top. And I want to play with this idea of distortion and reflection, which was a huge part of traditional still life painting. It was kind of this like masterful illusionism. I almost wanted to play with this idea of you know, the top of someone's dresser or the empty contents of a purse. I also think a lot about mirrors and reflection in the work, which were kind of used traditionally as symbols of self-reflection, kind of reflecting the world back at us. And so I also included this phone here because I was thinking like that's kind of a major lens through which we see the world and also craft this image of self. And in this piece I really wanted to push this idea of distortion and reflection almost to the point of illegibility. And I also signed the piece over here on the handle of this paintbrush. And I was thinking about you know, the trompe l'oeil painters who would often kind of integrate their signature into the wood grain of the panel or camouflage it into the piece. So I wanted to put that tradition of authorship. <laughs>